Hey everybody, it's Brooke with Refab. So, here I'm going to tell you about this church that we're painting. I hope this goes good. Um, this could be funny. Please stay tuned. Okay, so, this piece of wood right here, does this not just tell you you need to make this into a church? This is scrap wood from my house, and it was already shaped exactly like this. I just grabbed it from a pile outside, and I was like, oh my gosh, a church. I got to paint that. So, I grabbed it from my scrap pile, and it's perfect. I did not buy this. The back of it looks like this. It's kind of slanted, and this is the side that we're going to use. It screamed that I needed to paint a church. This little piece right here is also from my scrap pile from my house. So I thought, oh my gosh, church doors. So this is going to be the church doors. Now, I also had some extra flower stems that had these cute little purple flowers. Somebody please tell me what these are called because I am not a flower person. I love them, but I don't know what they are. So I've got these that I have cut off. And we're going to put some flowers beside our door in front of the church. So, this is all free. This is a free project. And I think this is going to be really, really um, fun. So, that's what we're going to do today. Now, so I've got several things of paint here. My friend Leah Winfrey at Leah Shea Interiors, she sent me several things of fusion mineral paint the other day in several different colors. And um, I'm going to use some of those today because they're brand new and they're colors that I love. So this one's called Raw Silk and it's like a white. And then I've got this one that's called Soapstone. It's like a dark, deep gray. And I'll comment all these later so that you can remember what I'm using. This is actually not one she sent, but I had it and I've used this before, Mystic Sea. You'll probably remember me using this on a previous previous live and then um, I've got some Valspar Antique Glaze that you've seen before so you've seen me use it before so I'm just going to use all that stuff and it's going to be really fun okay so here's what we're going to do we're going to paint the church we're going to paint it white with my what did I say this color was raw silk any white you don't have to use raw silk but I've heard that this paint's really good so I'm looking forward to using it I'm just going to use a regular paintbrush. She sent this awesome purdy paintbrush, but I really think I'm going to save it for a bigger project. And I'm just going to get plenty on my brush. And I am not um, trying to get this painted perfectly because I love that distressed look. I even have my sanding block. So... to show y'all this is it so far as you can see I literally did not paint it totally through I mean yeah I just left it kind of distressed looking I didn't get too crazy about making sure that I had it perfect so and I'm making a mess of course like always so this will take a second to dry it's not gonna be too bad but while it's drying I'm gonna go ahead and take my sanding block and I'm just gonna kind of sand on the edges to give it even that more of a distressed feel and it's okay if it's still kind of wet like mine is that doesn't matter so this little piece was scrap wood like I said and um I'm using it for the door I'm gonna actually hot glue it on here but first I'm gonna paint it Actually, I'm going to hot glue it on first. I lied. I'm just going to take a ton of hot glue. Of course, I'm using my cordless one like I always do. And see, I have no trouble getting it out. Some of y'all are like, do you have to squeeze really hard? I don't. It just comes right out. So, I think you got one that is messed up if you're having a hard time with yours. Because I seriously, and I'm not just saying this, I don't have any trouble with my hot glue gun. I really don't. Okay, 
So I'm gluing this on. That way we have like, we're going to have a lot of texture to this. Because like I said, I'm using these little flowers that I had. They came on this stem. I cut them off. And then um, refabboutique.com, Wanda. So we're going to glue these on here in the front of the church. So that's going to add some dimension. And then this door is adding some dimension. So this is what it looks like so far. So I, I hope it's going to be cute. I think it will. Y'all know my favorite color is aqua. So I'm going to use this for my door. Because is that not going to be a really pretty church door? I think so. So I'm just wiping off this, this paint. Pop mom over here, man. Okay. I'm just going to put it in my aqua. And I just, same thing I did for my church. I don't want it just caked on there. I just want it kind of lightly done. So I'm just kind of barely moving it on here. Barely putting it on there. And this would have been really cute if I didn't just decide spur the moment I was doing this live. This would have been really pretty stained, both of these, and then put the paint on it. So um, that would be really even prettier with that darker wood showing through. But this is going to be pretty too. That's at the top. I do too. Susie said she loves making wood things. Listen, my scrap wood pile is like gold to me and I'm not joking about that. Okay. So I painted the door aqua. I do the same thing I just did. Take my sanding block, sand it down real good. Somebody the other day said, when you sand it down, doesn't that take off the paint? Yes. That is the whole point of sanding it down. <laughs> so you're not wanting all the paint off, but you're wanting to show that wood going through. And I just love that rustic look. That's just, that's my style. And I like that. Okay. This is what it looks like so far. Okay. Y'all be sure to tell a friend about this video. Tag them if you need to send it to them. Sprinkle some love. You, typically, for this next part, I would use a much thinner paintbrush because it could be a lot easier. But I do not have um, one right now to use because I didn't think it through and I just don't have it. So I'm going to use this and it's going to be just fine. But I'm going to use this darker gray. Like I said earlier when I told y'all all the names, this is called Soapstone and it's Fusion Mineral. Listen, y'all don't have to use these fancy paints. I just got this from my friend Leah from Leah Shea Interior. She sent me a lot of paint and I'm going to be trying it out on some furniture but it's all the colors I wanted to use and it was perfect for this so that is why I am using it for this you can use Walmart paint okay okay so I'm gonna take my dark gray on my door and I'm going to I am totally flying by the seat of my pants with this I don't even know what I'm doing I'm painting a door and I don't know how or what I'm doing. <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I need to. Okay, so I made a little door on my door. And I'm just going to put a circle right there for the knob. This may turn out ugly, guys. Okay? So what I'm doing right now, taking the top of this right now, okay? That was from the white paint. And I'm just barely dipping my brush that I just used for the gray. I'm dipping that in here, and I'm just kind of going over the gray with the white just to kind of add some highlights, because I love doing that. I'm just kind of going along the side of my door, too, just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to go along the sides here of this paint chip, too. Paint chip, wood block. Somebody's saying the very top of the door. Okay. It's just part, it's just how it's stuck. It's no big deal. That's not even the part you're going to be seeing. Okay. Thank 
that's okay. No, that's okay. I'll just do the best I can with what I've got. Okay. I do not know why I didn't think about this. This is very hard to paint with a big paintbrush. But this could be a very good instance of using what you got. I don't know. This is not at all ideal. But it is what it is. Okay. So I've got the door, which I'm going to work on the door some. I just got to leave it for now. It's very hard to paint with this thick paintbrush. And I wish I had thought that through. And now I'm going to make like an archway at the top part. Okay. Like here we go. Like we're going to work on this because it needs some work. I'm aware. I don't have any Q-tips right now. So we're going to do an archway right here. And we're going to color that in. And then we're going to do a cross inside the archway. I'm going to go ahead and do it in aqua as well. Well, actually, I'm going to do it in... What color am I going to do it in? <coughs> gray and then I'll color it in with aqua listen y'all this is just flying by the seat of your pants at its finest right here total total this could be classic fail embarrassing bad Pinterest moment because these are not the ideal paint brushes. Please understand that when you're painting. <laughs> so I'm painting my archway. And here, here it is. Yeah, I've already addressed the top of the door. I'm leaving it. Okay, you're not going to see that. So I'm doing it like this and I'm about to color it in. With the gray. Just very light. Do I make y'all feel like Bob Ross? <laughs> Probably not. Somebody said I'm relaxing to listen to, so I'm like, oh, I feel like Bob Ross over here. I don't do a lot of painting live. I do paint, but not live. Okay, so I just kept kind of coloring it in with the gray that was already on my brush. I've got 10% battery. I'm going to have to plug my phone up, too. This is a pot mess. Okay, so we're doing this. Now I'm going to take some turquoise, not turquoise, um, whatever the color is, aqua, and I'm going to paint just a little bit over this gray. We're just letting it all blend together because that's what's fun about doing stuff like this. So here's what it's looking like so far. I just keep showing y'all. If I was home, I would just be painting. I wouldn't even think anything about it, but literally... This is what it's looking like so far. <laughs> the door needs work. In fact, I'm probably about to paint over the whole door because that is not what I had in mind. But one thing you will always see me do, you are not going to have a perfect art piece, period. Just like life. Things happen that is not at all what you had in mind, and you just got to paint over it and keep going. And that's what I'm about to do here with my door because my door up <laughs> oh, seriously and um i'm very aware of that and i can totally tell you that i think that because i do so i'm about to paint over it with some aqua and then it's gonna but you know what in the end it's literally it's probably gonna be better because thank you it's probably gonna be better in the end because it's gonna mix even more colors than i intended to okay so painting over the door because I'm like no this church is not having that door that door is ugly and God's house deserves a pretty door so that's what we're going to do I'm paint over it like this I have to let it dry because it may end up being like whoa that looks even worse but one good thing you never make a mistake when you're crafting or when you are um, painting especially all you got to do is paint over it and keep going. Add something to it. Make it something different than what you intended it to be at the beginning. And it's, it's going to look good in the end. Okay. So, here's what we got so far. I'm just going to show y'all real quick. 
the door I painted over it again it's got that much more um, variance to it you know and then we're gonna paint across in this and then I'm still gonna do some more stuff up here I am disappointed in myself that I did not bring a smaller paintbrush to this project it's what it is it's what it is so I'm going to let the door dry and then I'm probably going to put like a line through the middle and it's going to be double doors. That was what I meant to do and I just totally accidentally screwed it up because that's how people are. We screw things up sometimes. So, and maybe screw seems like a mean word to use. Um, so I don't want to offend anybody with that, but that's what I that's what came out. Okay, so I'm going to paint across. This is when I wish I had a smaller paintbrush. I'm just going down with my paintbrush like so from the top of my arch window to the bottom and I'm letting my colors kind of soak in just a little bit because they're still a little bit wet I'll show you when I'm done so y'all can see a closer look I'm definitely not worrying about it being perfect line then I'm just going to go across because it's across <laughs> and that's how you do it And then once it dries, we will go back and we'll highlight it. We'll add other colors in because it's going to be so pretty. And in the end, this church is going to be really cute. I think it is anyway. I really think it is. I'm about to show you all what we've got here. I'm feeling it. I'm doing a little blending right now, just kind of doing a little blending around my cross. That's all I'm doing. This blending is just, if you're not familiar with it, and listen, I'm no professional painter, so what's funny is a lot of the stuff I'm doing is like, who knows what a real painter would call it. Um, but I just take, I almost never wipe off my brush. Real painters probably do. I don't know because I'm not a real painter or I don't call myself a real painter I do love to paint though I'm just I leave it on there and I just add more colors and it all blends here so nicely so that's what I'm doing I'm about to show y'all what it's looking like okay here's what it's looking like so far okay I think the cross turned out kind of cool um honestly this is what it's looking like so far it's not perfect it's not supposed to be that's the whole look of this okay i'm gonna take some more of my whatever this dark gray color was called soapstone and i'm just using this so i mean i just always take what's left in the thing uh, in the top and just barely put it on my brush barely and then i'm just kind of going to go up here to the top to add some variance and I'm just brushing it on I'm not trying to be perfect thank you so much so here's what I'm doing you can see I'm just adding to the outside of the church I'm adding to the top with my um, soapstone which is just the dark gray just another word for it basically and I'm going to come down the sides just with little brush strokes not I don't want it to be like this line like that just kind of you just barely kind of go down that's how I paint so we've got some dark gray but I don't want it to be this dark but this is where we're starting so I am going to get a little bit of my white and like I said I'm just using these tops because I'm barely 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 um, doing this so here's what I'm doing I just took a little bit of my white put it on the end of my brush and I'm just going through and kind of highlighting over that dark gray to give it some variant and kind of tone it down and just add some color and it's going to be really cool and like I said at the beginning of this video if you can um Okay, let me show y'all what this is looking like. I just keep showing y'all. So we outlined the outside of the church. That's what we did. The door is a piece of scrap wood that I hot glued on if you're just getting here, okay? And so we got some work to do to our cross to kind of highlight it and make it pop. 
Um, so we're gonna do that too. This just isn't a fast process like some of my crafts, so it just kind of takes a little longer. But it's so fun. This whole craft is free. This was all scrap wood from my scrap wood pile. This was already shaped like a church. I didn't even have to do anything. So how awesome is that? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and on my door, this is gonna be the full door, but it's gonna be a double door, okay? So I am just gonna go down the middle with this and make it like a double door. If it turns out ugly again, we're gonna paint over it again. We'll just keep painting over it and it's gonna have lots of layers of love. I call it layers of love. When something didn't turn out, it just gets another layer of love. I just made that up. I don't normally call it that. <laughs> oh. Okay, so. But I like that, and I'm going to be calling it that from now. It's my new saying. Just in case I was like, well, I've never heard her say that. I don't really. I just made it up. Okay, so I'm still going to do some work to this. Lord, I about dropped it. I'm still going to do some work, but I went ahead and put that down the middle. I'm going to do the same thing I did to the rest of that. Um, to the rest of the gray, I'm going to tone it down by putting just a little bit of white on the end of this. And I'm going to go down my door with that. And I'm barely, barely putting it on my brush and barely putting my brush on my um, door. Barely. We ain't getting a perfect door here. I'm trying to think. What I really want to do is do little lines on each side of the door, like long door handles. But that's really hard to do with this brush. So I just don't know if I can do that right now. I'm going to try. Let's see. And I've got this little brush that Casey brought that I might can use. <laughs> this is the only one we could find because who knows where my stuff is because we don't know but um and you know these don't really work that good because that's all we got though but it might work better than this big one so i'm gonna put it just a tiny bit in my gray and i'm gonna do um i don't know i'm gonna try to do like a little handle on each side oh lordy Oh gosh, I don't think this is going to work. It might work though. They're going to be very whimsy doors, okay? Use the end of your brush. I, I tried to do that earlier and it wouldn't, it didn't look like the rest of my painting. Okay. You know what? I actually like this. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Like this. Do you see how they were barely brushed on? But they look whimsy like the rest. Thank you, Kimberly says I'm funny. I'm funny. Um, I'm just a mess. But anyway, that looks pretty good. I didn't want them perfect. I just wanted them kind of whimsy. That actually turned out really good. So now we're going to work on the cross a little bit. I want to go back and kind of add some dimension to the cross. So I'm going to, right now, I'll show you one more time so you'll see. The cross is aqua. That's all it's been. It's just been painted aqua. I know everybody's saying use the end. I'm not using the end because... I tried to do that earlier. That's not the look I wanted. It was not whimsy like the rest. And I really like it like this. Okay. So. That was the aqua. And I'm just going to take a little bit of my white. Like I've been using. And just kind of dabbing it in here. And then I kind of dab it on my paper. Just to, so it's very subtle. And then I'm just going to go back over the cross. And look, you see, can you see where I did the white right on the aqua and how pretty that looks? Looks really pretty. I really like this. So I told y'all at the beginning that I had this sprig, or whatever you call it, and it had these little flowers on it. And I cut them off. I am going to glue, and I know they won't be to scale. Okay, I understand that. But I'm going to glue the flowers down by the church door to give that much more dimension. And they need to be cut just a little bit more because they're still kind of long. And we're just going to glue them on there. And it's, they're going to look really pretty, I think. So I've got my hot glue gun. I'm just going to put just a little bit on the back. It's not going to take much to glue them on there. 
and I'm just going to glue it. I've never done this. I think this is going to look really cute. I have three, but I think I'm just going to use two. That way it's symmetrical. Okay, so now we've got these on. These look really cute. They look like little blushes. Look. How cool are those? This is really cuter than I even anticipated. I'm not bragging on myself, although I am bragging on myself a little. And so I'm going to take my sanding block one more time. And I am literally just going to sand a little bit more. Just on the edges, just a little more. I don't want anything to look too refined. And of course I'm going to show an up close when I'm done. Because it's so much easier to see. And I'm going up here. This part will scare you. Because I'm going up here and I'm going to sand on my cross. Okay? But you can't be scared of the sanding block. It's your friend. Or it's my friend. It's going to be the old rugged cross. Just like the song. I will cling to the old rugged cross. And exchange it someday for a crown. Okay, so here we go. This is it. We are done. It is not fancy. It's not necessarily center. It's not whatever, but it is mine. And it is from scrap wood from my house, every single bit of it. It's free, and I really, really like it. And you know, I think it turned out really, really cute. So, thank y'all for being here and watching me paint this. Um, that was really fun. Thanks for being here. I know it was kind of long. Y'all are awesome. Thank y'all. Have a great night. Bye, guys.